Hello, my name is Dong Min Tre. I'm going to present our work, Your Angular Plot Characterization, Automated Quantification of Polar Distribution for Plot Composition. Percutaneous coronary intervention, PCI, refers to a family of invasive procedures used to open coronary arteries. By restoring blood flow, the treatment can improve symptoms of blood arteries, such as chest pain or shortness of breath. Automated quantification of plug attenuation and calcification using IVUS is essential for risk stratification. In calcified plugs that can cause stand under expansion, treatment strategies are determined based on calcium scoring via calcified plug characteristics. To automate plug characterization process, segmentation methods have been mainly proposed based on machine and deep learning techniques. These models try to learn a mapping from a single IBUS frame to the plug composition map in a supervised learning fashion. It means that those processes need pixel-level annotations for training a segmentation model. However, unlike OCT, IBUS frame includes aceromatous plugs which causes the shadow regions due to the restriction of acoustic physics. The shadow region is represented as black pixels in the IBUS and does not provide any information about the characteristic of the region. Therefore, it is impossible to label the complete plot composition map using only IBUS for clinical uses. To address this problem, cardiologists have developed clinical guidelines based on angle quantification instead of reconstructing plot composition maps. For example, a maximal arc of attenuation of a 30 degree on IBUS indicates the presence of a syncope fibrosoma. Calcium scoring also can be based on angle quantification instead of the exact proportion of a calcified plug. We propose a novel approach called Neural Plug Angular Characterizer which learns to map an IBUS frame to the polar distribution of plug composition. New plug is the unified processor of the automated prediction of polar distribution for plug characterization, including an angle-wise classifier and output calibration. The key idea of new plug is simple. New plug allows the user to annotate angle-wise plot composition per frame efficiently and extracts the corresponding values in the form of a vector for the model training. We call this vector angular plot composition vector. And by using this, your plot directly outputs angular plot composition vector. Let me introduce about the formulation of plot characterization. From the data point X, which is an IBUS frame, the plot characterization model FM predicts the composition map in pixel level. And we can estimate the performance of model by the formula in this slide. The loss function is the similarity coefficient and we can call the model as pixel-wise classifier. Now, we can convert the previous setting to angular prediction system. There's an additional transfer function t, which generates the angular plot composition vector v. Look at the pink arrow in y. From the position of zero degree, the ground truth label y starts with absence, then turns to white calcium region, then to red attenuation part, and returns to absence. This y can be converted to angular plot composition vector v 
by the transfer function t. We can estimate the performance of fm for the angle-wise classification by adding the transfer function t to the formula and the loss function in here is cross entropy loss. Suppose we have an angular plot composition vector dataset. Then we can define the angular plot characterization model FA, which directly infer an angular plot composition vector from input IBUS frame. Precisely, cardiologists roughly make annotation images tilde y corresponding to the IBUS frames by drawing arc lines rather than complete plot composition map. These annotation images are converted to V via transfer function T. We emphasize that labeling tilde y is easier and more efficient than labeling y to drive V. Although plot composition of adjacent angles or frames are strongly correlated in actual vessels, each element of the Nupox output is independent. Due to the nature of this, the output vibration, which is a prediction error, that the prediction is repeatedly changed along with the multiple adjacent angles, sometimes occurs. This phenomenon is very helpful for predicting clinical parameters during PCI. To calibrate the output vibration, we apply test time augmentation. During the inference phase, we randomly augment for the input IBUS frame. After inference, for all augmented images, including the original input, the augmentation is conducted to remove the effect of transformation operations. Then, outputs are blended through the mean operation to minimize the output vibration and maximize the prediction power. To evaluate from the engineering performance to the clinical efficiency, the number of metrics are measured. Sensitivity, specificity, PPV, and MVT for presence of each IBUS classification and attenuation are performed. And also, to evaluate the clinical efficiency, we calculate the clinical parameters from the predicted plot composition vectors. These clinical parameters are evaluated by Pearson correlation coefficient. The result validate that the new POC has efficiency in helping clinicians make decisions as well as micro-level accuracy. In addition, we demonstrate the internal representation to understand what information your POC uses via grad cam. This figure shows that the new POC tends to pay attention on the relatively high intensity region for IBUS classification and the shadow region or the area where the signal gradually disappears for IBUS attenuation. We evaluated the output calibration qualitatively as well as the performance improvement. We have visualized the result of new PAL with test time augmentation comparing with UPA without test time augmentation. This qualitative result shows that the output calibration using test time augmentation successfully solved the issue of output vibration and this achievement is also important in clinical situation. We introduced a new paradigm of automated plot characterization for clinical uses. Each component of it improves the model performance from the perspective of both engineering and clinical assistance. We also tried to inspect new plot for better understanding via grad visualization.